many times have you done this though? Uh, a few. A few? Yeah, a few. We made the walk. Uh -huh. All right, kids, we are recording. In the Studio C one final time. It's just like the old days. It was our home together for over a decade. All right, in three, two, go. Welcome to the set of OTR. It normally stands for On the Record, but today it's for Janet Wu because she has owned the room for so many years. That's an exaggeration, Ed. Hardly. Mr. Speaker. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. If Janet Wu was on your case, you had to you had to think twice. My sort of like funny little story is that I hope that when people hear that I'm retiring, all the politicians are out ce celebrating. <laughs> of course, they, it was just my imagination that that would happen, but. Um, I really don't think they were afraid of me or may, they were nervous because of me. It oh, was they, would, I, they would hide from you. I think it was because I was holding that Channel 5 mic. How, you know, how and they knew what they represented. How frequently would they stay inside their office in the State House and, and pray that you would leave, wait you out? Oh, quite a few, in fact. Like this one night with Ron Mariano before he was House Speaker. So one night around 6.30, he thought all was clear. So he finally came out of his office and he came, he came upstairs and I was hiding behind a pillar <laughs> and he saw me and he started <laughs> laughing and he says, <laughs> you got me favorite politician to cover? It's a short list. I'd say Paul Cellucci. Best thing you ever covered. Can, can you pick one? When she was nine months pregnant with her son, she went to China with Michael Dukakis. And I knew that if I told people how pregnant I was, I wouldn't be allowed on the plane, so I wore a big raincoat. There's another tragedy being played out at other refugee camps on other islands. I, was, I wasn't that big, so I managed to get away, but then when we got on a helicopter to fly around some refugee camps in Hong Kong, Kitty turned to me and she says, you really think you should get on that helicopter? I says, well, if I don't tell my husband, I think it'll be just fine. <laughs> Her award for the smartest politician, Ted Kennedy, master of distraction. He agreed to do an interview with me, but you know he didn't want to do it. So I go in there and the first thing he says to me is, goes, you look like you've lost weight. Are you on a diet? Then he started exchanging diet, you know, diet recipes with me or di diet ideas. And I kept on thinking, boy, this man is so shrewd. He's so, <laughs> so smart. Now she delights in her grandchildren, their names on her wrist, Lulu, Esme, and Lynn, as she says goodbye. And thank you to all the viewers and especially all the politicians that put up with me and all the staff and all the political consultants that took my phone calls. Um, but mostly thank you to the viewers. I really appreciate the fact that you watch, you listen, and you let me know what I'm doing wrong. Which wasn't, if she did everything right, so she didn't do anything wrong. You honored her beautifully, she is, just said. No, that she was is, perfectly done. She is, she is, I have many dear friends here, and I'm blessed with that, and yep. that is right at the top of the list. She, she's she's led me and taught me in so many ways. All of ways. us. I'm 30 years right. ago, I was a radio reporter. Yeah, right, we would right. sit out in front of the governor's office, right. and I said, I think I might want to try to do TV, and yeah. she showed me the way. Yeah, yeah. And she did that for so many people. She she does have one more go on OTR, which is which is not this weekend. Right. It's the following weekend. So it's we start the new year with Wu. It's it's kind of a, we start a new year, but we also end a career with with. By the way, in room 157 at the state house, the governors, all of them that who she covered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Janet Wu, right. number one. Number one. <laughs> no, they would always call on her first. Number one, number one.